Hey guys, that's Rocky J here. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to review my model and diecast truck collection. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of my upcoming missions. So I'm starting off with one of my favorite trucks, and it's revealing a little secret. Many of you guys are wondering what the J stands for. It's got my name here, Jordan Presley. And the cab is a Peterbilt, I think. P-O-W-M-I-A, Prisoner of War, Missing in Action. It's got a custom tanker, a custom cab. And it actually, if we disconnect it, you can see barely, it's got a little American flag back there. Very nice. Here, straighten it back out normal, so I'll get the front too. Comment down below if you know what kind of truck it is. I think it's a Peterbilt, but it's just got no branding on it, so I got no idea. Also take this off. Well, yeah, this is a pretty cool truck. So now we're gonna start off with some of my 132 scale model trucks. And the first one is this Kenworth Heavy Wrecker, which is towing a Peterbilt that can actually open the hood. Let's see, let me get myself over there. Comment down below if you know what type of engine that is. I seriously don't. doors can also open on this one and this one. Did these come together? Did you match them up yourself? Uh, I matched them up myself, I think. Very actually, nice. I actually don't remember which one this came with. So this is a Mac Pinnacle, and I actually got this at the 75 Chrome Shop. It's a really cool Chrome Shop. I have two videos on it. I'll talk more about it later. And Mac Pinnacle extended cab and it came with this trailer so let's see if i can attach it yeah put it in front of your rotisserie very nice that was a good souvenir from a good truck mission Mhm. Mm this is from a long time ago i don't know when i got this stabilizers can go down cool. so yeah this is a real cool truck Next one is... What do you got? The... I think... Yeah. Me and my brother called this Big Red. I think you can probably tell why. It's a... It's Kenworth with a huge sleeper. Also 132 scale? Uh, yeah, I think all of these are 132. It's pretty cool. Next one is a flaming Kenworth. Wow, that's custom. Yeah, for sure. This, I actually have no idea where I got this. I don't remember. It's got custom fenders as well. Chrome fenders, chrome bumper. And then the last one is a small orange Kenworth. This actually came with a little gooseneck trailer, I think. That's a day cab, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I found the low loader trailer that came with the orange cab. I decided to put a custom food truck on it. And these, this truck and trailer actually came from the 595 truck stop. Which, if you check my library, I have many, many videos on the 595 truck stop with real trucks. And I customized to put oversized load on it. Very nice. I think it's pretty cool. So this truck is actually really special. It came all the way from Iowa. It's a blacked out Freightliner car carrier. Carrying some pretty cool muscle cars. A few Trans Ams. We got a Pontiac and a Corvette. We also, 
We can also move these, but I don't really want to. What were you doing in Iowa? I made a few videos that if you checked my channel, I have, I think, two videos from the truck, Trucker's Jamboree. Either two or three. That's a pretty nice souvenir you got, huh? Yeah. It's, it, the doors can open I, I on it. I think that's your only real nice Freightliner model, huh? I think it's the only Freightliner model I have. Mm-hmm. Along with the Mac, because I don't see any Freightliner or Mac trucks. Very nice. Pretty cool. So here we have a 134 scale waste management Corrado can. You got the standard waste management front end loader. Then you have the Slamming Eagle, which is a uh, like kind of Corrado can hooked up to the front. And you can actually test it. I'll test it in a minute. But other than that, this truck's pretty sick. Pretty cool. Is that your favorite in your collection of the garbage trucks or not necessarily? Yes, I think. It also has this tiny can. We will test You're this. Sure, spin her around. Yeah. We will test it. But first, I shall take it off this so it's easier. And this is like an adult thing. It's like not at all meant to be played with. It's like an adult collectible, but my dad lets me play with it anyway. Goes there. Broken, snapped. Grip it, like so. And then it fits. Very cool. That is legit, huh? Mm-hmm. Arms can move up and down. Yep. Tailgate can open. It sure can. This truck is really cool. And right next to it is a waste connections front end loader. So here's a another scale 134 uh, Mac garbage truck. But this one is very rare because it's painted as waste connections. Usually it's waste management or sometimes it's for public services. But this one is painted very rare. I think there are only actually a few of these out here. Got this blue bin that we oh, will nice. test. We shall test it. Perfect match. Yep. The back can open as well. Sure can. I'm not gonna do that right now, but it can. Lower this down. Now let's test it. Does it work? Yeah, I don't think that came with it. I think I bought it afterwards to put like next to it. Yeah. Kind of, kind of works. That it works perfectly. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. Sweet. And the back can open. Nothing really in the back. Awesome. Same, same as the waste management one. Nothing in there. But other than that, this is pretty cool. So is the dumpster. Dumpster is pretty cool. So this is approximately 148 scale KDW front end loader. And it came with a little blue bin. The hood can open. And the back can also open. And to match it, I have an orange version of it, which is definitely my favorite. It has its own bin, and this is definitely my favorite. Why is um, that one your favorite? Because it's got my all my favorite colors. It's got orange, black, and white. Very nice. How'd you end up with two of these trucks? This is actually my brother's. This is mine. Well, very nice. Garbage he truck. Let me borrow. Brothers. It. Yeah, this one truck is really cool. Yeah, I like that. Move this back to its parking garage. Alright. Also move this one. So this right here is a Peterbilt 125 scale tractor and me, it took me and my dad about 
two hours to build this. And that was a model kit? Yeah. Crazy model. It's got a crazy engine. You can see all the different parts. It's just got a gold accent. You Give a see, spin. You can see inside of the cab. It's got gold. I think this truck is honestly one of the most delicate trucks that I have. No and doubt. Yeah, these stickers that are on it are water stickers. Yep. Keep spinning. Peterbilt logo on the mud flaps. Yep. This is honestly pretty big. Definitely one of my biggest trucks that I have. Very cool. Well, I know they make different kinds, so maybe one day when we have two hours, we'll build another one. Maybe. So I love vintage trucks, and if you don't already know, I'm a member of the Vintage Trucks in Florida. So this is a 1959 International Harvester tractor and trailer. And if you know, I have multiple videos of Paquette's Tractor Farm, which has more inter international international harvester brands and more trackers than you can ever imagine. I'm not gonna move this because it's very delicate and it's, it's just crazy to see. Wow. Sure is a beauty, huh? Yeah, true value, hardware stores. Looks like that's their 50th anniversary rig. Yep. Very nice. From 1948 to 1998. Cool. So I picked this up at the Vintage Trucks of Florida National Nationals early earlier this year. It's a mobile steak truck, a Chevrolet. This is from 1996. Back then they had pretty cool toys. Okay. Any kind of special features? Yeah. So this can open and it can go up and down. I mentioned this is in one of my other videos at Paquette's tractor farm. These things can all come out. There's a small dolly for lift that can move the barrels. A pretty cool truck. Does it do anything else? Yeah. There's a switch over there somewhere. I'll spin it around and I'll show you guys. Put on there a spinner. The back lights light up. And the front headlights. Very nice. I find it pretty cool. Pretty good. Also, From 96, still works nice. Yeah. Had to replace the batteries. The lights were a little dim. Also, I got this at a different place. Where? I got this in Iowa for the Trucker's Jamboree. I think I mentioned this. You should get hooked up with a lot of nice things, huh? Yeah, I think I mentioned this in my last video. Not my last video, the wow. one for Iowa. 1957, Farm, Illinois. The back piece can come off. And this can come out. I think that's a first gear truck too. I think so. Give her a spin, we didn't see the backside. The wheels are turned, can you move those with the steering wheel? Is that how that works? No. I can move it like this though. Cool, you can pose it. Yeah. Very nice. Both of these are steak trucks. This is a Caterpillar one and this is a mobile racing one. What's that mean, steak truck? A steak truck is basically a truck that has a fence around it. Mm -hmm. See, both of these have fences. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got both of these at major events. This was Iowa. We had the Truckers Danbury. And then this was at Paquette's when they had their anniversary. No, there was that also the Vintage Trucks of Florida show. Yeah, That's Vintage Trucks of Florida show. Very yeah, nice. So. So I made this as like, I don't actually don't know why I made this. Because you're creative. Yeah. It's a waste management box truck. 
and inside are two very rare waste management trucks. First one is the Mac Granite Waste Management Dump Truck. Second one is a Chevy Waste Management Service Truck so that if any of those trucks are broke down on the road, they have a flat tire and whatnot, this just pulls up next to it and fixes it and then they're on their way. Very nice, nice detail. Yeah. I really like the service truck. Me too. I think that's technically, as of today, the newest vehicle in your fleet. Yeah. And to go with the waste management style, we got the waste management rear loader. And not really branded, but it's a waste management front loader. So all of these are just waste management nice. all day long. Around the back. Nice. Yeah. So this is a front loader for DSNY. Comment down below if you know what DSNY stands for. You won't see any of these because New York City is the land of the rear loaders. And if you went to New York, you would see a lot of trucks that look like this. This is a limited edition because it has the green wheels. As you can see with my other front loader and this and all the others, none of them have green wheels. But this one is limited. I actually don't remember how I got this. I think they just mailed it to us because we have all these. So these both are really cool. The forks can go down on this. Very nice. Spin the rear loader around. Does that open? Oh, nice. Yeah. Of course it does. Nothing in it. Very nice. I don't know that. It's pretty cool. So this is a waste management box truck. The cab's an international. And without these, we wouldn't have anywhere to put our garbage because these deliver garbage cans. Also, next to it is a Krispy Kreme international box truck. When, when we saw this, it was just, you have to get it. <laughs> It's a really cool truck. Krispy Kreme's pretty yummy, huh? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Same message on every waste management truck. What's that? This truck runs on nat clean, natural burning gas. Oh, that's important, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So this is pretty cool. This is a Waste Pro garbage truck and a garbage truck can. These are really cool. This is a mini first gear garbage truck. How'd you get that? I went to the Waste Pro uh, Vintage Garbage Truck Museum. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can buy those. I think you have to be a nope. visitor and they give them to you. Yeah, you gotta go there. I think they only made 3,000 pieces. Wow. That one is a definite keeper, huh? We got three garbage bins, two of the other ones just over there, and then we had one more garbage truck sure. that we got. Here you go, we can double down for the viewers. Yeah. Two, two of the rarest garbage trucks that you can't buy in a store. Nice. So these are some really old Matchbox real working rigs, side loader garbage trucks. They're both really cool. They both are different companies and they all have different paint jobs. And now- What kind of cabs are these two? They're both auto cars. I think I don't those think, are uh, your only two auto cars. Yeah, I don't think they, Matchbox makes auto car cabs anymore. Also, the newest Matchbox garbage truck that they have made is this Matchbox front end loader. Okay, what do they call that series of trucks? Real working rigs. Real working rigs, you're right. Get this up. There you go. Matchbox services, legit. Nothing. Those are a lot cooler than the Matchbox cars I used to have as a kid. Yeah. Nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside of this. These Matchbox real working rigs are seriously cool. 
that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And? Click here to see Garber Shark videos. Click here for Big Rig videos. And don't forget, click here to subscribe. All right. See you next time.